the cell phone charger and headphone salespeople at the real World Series of Poker 2018 must be stopped. The verbal and sexual harassment that has been going on for these first few days of World Series of Poker 2018 cannot go on any longer. Anyone that's been at the World Series of Poker in this year or in recent years has had to deal with these annoying ass cell phone charger salespeople in the hallway constantly yelling about their cell phone chargers. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the sexual harassment that I've witnessed and that I've discussed with a number of different women at the Rio in these past couple days, as well as the other verbal harassments I've seen go on from these guys from and i've also had conversation with more people today at the rio and they told me their own stories and their own dealings with these guys i'm also going to talk about how exactly their whole entire operation set up including their uh, kind of legit kind of fake website um, how the different companies are connected with each other and um, i don't know man this seems like some pretty um i don't know what the word is these guys are obviously great at what they do these are no knock on these salesmen i'd want these guys selling to someone for me if my life was going to be ended and i had to have the best salesman in the entire world because these guys are good at what they do i'm not arguing that what i am saying is that this is the world series of poker and we should not allow this constant harassment every single time you walk down the hallway about buying a damn phone charger from these people you don't have to deal with it once, you gotta deal with it twice now as you're walking down the hall. And not only that, if you say no, if you ignore them, they mock you. There's sarcasm thrown your way, they make fun of you. If you're a woman, they're gonna sexually harass you, they're gonna talk about, baby, why don't you smile for me? They're gonna comment on your body, they're gonna talk about how sexy they think you are, all this kind of stuff like that. Now I just walked around the reel today, and I had conversations that said, hey, what do you think about the cell phone charger guys, what do you think about them? Every single person I talked to said, man, these guys are so annoying. I don't understand why they're here. I talked with a number of different women. One woman was much more specific and graphic in terms of what these guys are saying to her. And now, like, I get it. Maybe this is fine in other places, but this is the World Series of Poker. And there are people that come from all over the world to play here. And this is the representation of what poker is. I mean, if you're a fan or if you're someone new coming by to play an event and you just go down the hall and then you're you're made fun of or you feel uncomfortable in the hallways walking by because you don't want to be bothered by these guys, I mean, that just doesn't, I can't understand why this is allowed to go on. And now we're going to take a look at exactly a little bit about who this company is, how much these products that they sell cost. Are these products complete pieces of shit? I don't really know. But if you go off the reviews that I've been reading on here online and from the investigation I've done, I mean, you know, I, it just, I can't believe this company is allowed to operate the World Series of Poker. And like I said, I'm sure this company makes money. The markup that they have on these products is insane. More markup is better. The salesmen are good. But should they be at the World Series of Poker? I, I just can't see why this is allowed to go on. And hopefully this harassment, I, I mean, on a constant basis, cell phone charger, they're yelling it down the hallway. I walked down the hallway today during the Colossus. They're yelling it. There's three in a row. Phone charger. Phone. It's like, what the fuck is going on right now, man? Like people here trying to focus. People here trying to get in the zone. They're playing for a, a large amount of money. And they have to worry about this abuse every single dot time that they go walk down the damn hallway. And they can't not have to hear this or not to deal with these guys or hope they're in a big crowd or hope they just leave them the fuck alone. So if we take a look at the products that these guys have and... Uh, the main website that they list here is this Pro Royal. Now we're gonna take a look at this Pro Royal website and we're gonna look at how much the product products go for on here. So here's Pro, Pro Royal site. And from what I can gather, they only have this site set up so that when people say, well, how much does this stuff cost online? They send you this site and they show you that the Bluetooth headphones cost $3.99. They show you the charger on the go. The power case costs $1.99. Uh, the multi charger down here 399 and a bunch of the other products with these absurd high prices on their site and now if you google these products you will find these products basically nowhere else there's not going to be any pro royal company there there's nothing like that this is the only proof or only thing that they have and they pull it up immediately when you say well how much does this cost they're going to pull it up instantly and say this is what it is but we'll sell it to you for 139 or 199 or 99 if you have a card or it's going to change depending on who you are or depending on how easy of a target that you are. And now if you look more into Pro Royal, you say, all right, where's this Pro Royal? What is this company? You go down here and they have something called Global Trade AM located in Las Vegas. And then when you go ahead and when you look up the Global Trade AM, only a couple things come up about this company. And then they're registered, it looks like they're registered in Las Vegas and it tells where they get their they get their import from. They get their import from Dongguang Hangui Electronic Company located over in China, which is where a lot of these products are coming from. And then if you look more into global trade, there's really nothing about this company except 
they're a connection to a place called the Source Electronics in Las Vegas. And now if you go to the Source Electronics Las Vegas Yelp page, you're going to see there's 52 reviews and 1.5 stars. And if you go down and read the reviews, you're going to notice that these reviews could have came from the World Series of Poker themselves in terms of what products are being sold. They are the exact products that are being sold there. Also the reviews of these, these products being defunct, of them paying so much extra money for a lot of these products that they have on there. And basically it's just negative review after negative review after negative review after negative review on the site. And then when you take a deeper look and you try to figure out, okay, well, how does the source tie in with these other products? Basically the people that are in charge at the source electronics have formerly in the past had a company with the person that's in charge of Global Trade AM. And uh, I mean, it makes sense. It's the same sales tax, it looks like here, same products, same everything. And now you can see this, 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 these sites are on a number of different, are, are these sites scams? There's also these Bluetooth headphones. I think it's from like a, a GHT USA or something like that, or some of the products there are GHT USA. When you go to the GHT USA website, it's the same exact website, same prices, same unfinished website. You can't even buy anything on these websites. If you try to buy now, it just goes to a random PayPal. The Twitter, Facebook links at the bottom, none of those work on here. And basically this GHT USA is just the same headphone and the same products package with the GHT USA branding. And now you say, well, where do these, come, where do these products all come from? And now what it looks like me, to me, what happens to these products is that they get them from a supplier. Maybe it's that, that, that supplier that recently dropped off a load over in February, the Dong Wong, uh, the, the, I mean, the, the, place, the place in Guangdong, China. And when you take a, look at, take a look at the prices or when you kind of shop around, I basically was able to find these same exact headphones without the branding on it for I think it was about like $15 or something of that nature. And then if you take a look around and try to find similar headphones or similar products, basically if you find these same products very similar from China, they're all gonna cost you somewhere in between $7 and about $20, 20 at the very high end, seven to 15 for most of these products that they're selling. And now there's nothing wrong with that. Of course, it's at the Rio, it's gonna be marked up. It's, it's gonna, these things happen. This is how business works. And from learning how these guys operate, I want to start a goddamn, so I want to do this too, because it's kind of amazing in terms of the markup that they have on these products. And now if it's just the markup, I mean, okay, I guess, but if it's just the, the shitty quality from China, or if these, these products have a history of breaking or not working well, you know, I, okay, I can kind of understand that. But then when I think when you start throwing in these super aggressive sales tactics and the constant harassment, talking, yelling, just really in your face sort of styles that make people uncomfortable with the sexual harassment of women and some women telling me that they're uncomfortable walking down the hallway and they try to go down a different hallway to avoid these people. And if it's just like this now, I imagine it's only gonna get worse and worse if these guys are allowed to have this free reign. If you walk by and you say no, they're gonna they're making fun of you or laughing at you. It's like being in a, in a fucking schoolyard you got to worry about these bully guys down there laughing at you or making fun of you. I mean, for me, it's not a big deal for me because I mean, they're going to say nothing to me. If they do, whatever, I'll talk some shit back. But for some other people, they're not like me. They're not. They feel uncomfortable. They feel weird. They don't want to fucking deal with this stuff, man. They come to play poker. We shouldn't be having to, to go down here like some, some back alley flea market or something like that, having to deal with these different people. And, and like I said, man, I'm sure these guys are great at their jobs. You know, I don't know the guys. I don't know what's happening with them. Uh, I've researched in terms of who the people that work here are, who are the people that run these companies and gotten, a little, gotten to know a little bit more of these people. And these people seem like guys that just trying to make a living, trying to make a business out there for themselves. And I, I can understand that and I can empathize with that. But when you're selling these sort of shit products at a massive markup, sometimes you're selling these headphones that cost $17 from China for $300. I think it's the Rio and the World Series of Poker's responsibility to protect the customers from around the world that are coming here and trusting the World Series of Poker as a brand to provide them with quality options and, and outside. And they, they trust the World Series that these products are gonna be good and top of the line. When they're not getting top of the line, they're getting these this generic stuff from China and in terms of when you try to get a refund or you try to deal with these people, there's just countless horror stories after horror stories of dealing with them. So now what should be done about this? And, and, and quite honestly, I don't really know if these guys are going to stay there. I don't think they need to be constantly harassing people in the hallways. I just, it doesn't make sense to me why this has to be the case. I'm sure they pay for it, but you're telling me these are the vendors. If, if these are the only vendors you can get, get in touch with me next year. I will make sure I either purchase the vendor spaces myself, or I will find other vendors for these spaces that aren't going to sort of have these techniques or have these, 
these styles and like i said i'm sure they work they're great salesmen whatever but it's it's going over the edge from what i've witnessed and it's a little embarrassing to be honest with you that you bring people here and they're, they're you know they're getting harassed by these people in the hallway so so yeah guys that's kind of what i have please let me know what you guys think let me know your experiences your um and uh i don't know just kind of what you think about the video but i'm a little fired up talking about this subject because i just had to watch it today a lot guys and i'm just like man this girl's talking about what they're saying to her and stuff like that i'm just like come on this is fucked up man this is like you know it's supposed to be our safe place poker and you know it really isn't i feel like so so yeah that's what i got much love peace out guys take care